I'm going to show you how to combine the power of Nano Banana and VO3 to create viral videos just like this. And I'm going to teach you how to do it completely for free. <laughs> so there are four main tools that we are going to be using to create these sort of effects. And that's VO3, VO2, Nano Banana, and CapCut. All of these can be accessed for free. And right away, I know what you're saying. Chase, you can't use VO3 for free. I know you have to pay for it. Well, you're actually wrong. And I'm going to show you a workaround of how you can get up to 50 generations a month for free using VO3. And we're going to go over that at the end of the video. But for this first half, I'm going to take you through the workflow so you know exactly how to recreate everything you saw in the intro. So like I said, we got four tools and let me show you what each tool is doing before we actually get into Nano Banana and VO3 and execute this ourselves. So we are inside of CapCut and we're actually looking at the very video you're watching now. And like you saw in the intro, there were a few different scenes, right? At the beginning, we had me. This is just me being recorded in the camera, no editing. We then had Banana Boy, Iceman, Astronaut, and then our steampunk robot. All four of those images, right? The astronaut, the robot, the banana, these were all used and created using Nano Banana, right? So what did I do? Well, I took a still image like this, fed it to Nano Banana and said, hey, turn this guy into a robot banana. And this is where you see the power of Gemini's new image model, right? The character consistency. That kind of looks like me. And that background definitely looks the same as this one, right? It's virtually identical. And that character consistency, even when we're doing something that's completely out of the ordinary, like totally replacing me with this robot, is something you would have had a lot of trouble doing just a couple weeks ago. This is where Nano Banana shines. Now, where does VO3 come in? Well, it obviously comes in in the video creation phase, right? We give it a still image that we made in Nano Banana, and we have it animate it and say something that we want. Now, where does VO2 come in? Well, VO2 comes in with this transition because VO2 and also Mid Journey, and I'll show you how to do that if you're willing to pay some dollars, allows us to give it a frame to frame transition. So I can give it a first frame like this. I can give it a last frame like this and say, hey, animate some sort of transition. VO3 doesn't allow us to do that yet, which is why we're gonna be using VO2 for our free option. But it gives us the ability to do these cool transitions like this that we otherwise couldn't. And we didn't do that when we did these quick cuts between, you know, banana, Iceman, astronaut. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. And now let me show you how it works from the very beginning using Nano Banana. So let's focus on the transition part. This is where I have some clip and I want to turn into something or someone else, right? I wanna go from here into that steampunk robot you saw. So what I need to do is I need to get a still frame at the point of transition, which is what you see right here. And so inside of CapCut, I'm just gonna come up to the top right, go to export still frame, and we'll call this example. And I'm gonna download that. Next, we go to Gemini. This is where we're gonna be able to use Nano Banana. I'm gonna come down to tools and go to create images. There's other places you can get Nano Banana at. You can go to LM Arena and do it. You can also go to the AI Studio from Gemini. I'll put links to all those down below. Now, all you have to do is describe your image. So all I wrote was turn the man into an evil steampunk robot and let it go to work. Without even telling it, it should already know that I want the background to stay exactly the same. I just wanted to change the main character. And here we go. Did a pretty good job. Kept the background exactly the same. It's got my plant, my little flight helmet in the back. But now we got a robot on the microphone. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to download this image and we're going to head over to VO3. So now we're going to go to Google Labs Flow application to access VO3. Again, I'll show you at the end of how to get all this for free. But to make our video, we're going to go to frames to video. We're then going to upload the image that we just created in Nano Banana, crop and save. So once you upload your image, just give it the prompt, tell it what you want it to say, what you want the video to look like. I'm just having it slowly zoom in, repeat the same thing it did in the intro, and to also give the robot a deep foreboding voice. I'm using VO3 fast for this. and We'll have it go to work. So our video is done. Let's see how it sounds. And I'm going to teach you how to do it completely for free. Okay, so not a bad start. We could tweak this prompt some more if we were going for a different kind of vibe, but this will do for now. So when it comes time to actually download it, you're going to want to just hit this button here and then you want it to upscale because like you just saw when we had it zoomed in all the way, it was only at 720p and we want minimum 1080p for our videos. So just give it a few minutes while it upscales once this finishes, you'll get a little notification up here on the right where you can download it. 
All right, once it finishes upscaling, just hit download. Then we just come to CapCut, drop that video back in, and then pull it into the frame. So what we have here now is just a quick cut. And this is what you saw when we were doing like me turning into the banana at the beginning of the video, right? But how do we do that cool transition? So it's not just as abrupt and sudden as this. Well, let me show you. First of all, right, we're gonna need to kind of like split up these clips. And what I want you to do is I want you to, again, get some still images. We're gonna get the final still image from the first scene where you're fully human. And then we're gonna get a still image or a still frame from the first part of this robot video. So again, to do that, come up here to the right, go to export still frames, and then we'll just call this, you know, example two. And then same thing over here, export still frame, example three. So once you do that, you're gonna come back into VO3 and we're gonna upload both of those images. So once you've uploaded those videos, you're gonna come down here to the bottom and make sure the first frame is the first frame is use a person and that second frame is our robot. Now, unfortunately, you know, VO3 doesn't let us do this frame to frame, so we have to go to VO2. So for the prompt, I just wrote, have the man turn into the steampunk robot. Parts of the robot should slide into place smoothly and quickly as the transformation occurs. Now, while this is happening using VO2, I'm gonna show you how to do this the better way, but it does cost money using Midjourney. So here I'm inside of Midjourney, and I would put it kind of as 1A and 1B with Nano Banana when it comes to AI image generation. I think. Midjourney is actually better when it comes to creating images from scratch. In terms of doing character consistency and like Photoshop style edits like we've been doing so far, Nano Banana is better, but having them both in your back pocket is great when you're creating AI stuff like we are. And so inside of Midjourney, we're gonna go through the same flow we did with VO2. We're gonna go create here on the left. You're gonna come up here, you're gonna give it the same prompt. We're gonna go to add images and we're going to upload our images. We're going to give it a starting frame and an ending frame. So we have our starting frame, we have our ending frame. You can change some of the preferences here if you want. This is just fine, standard, two videos, and it'll be in SD to start. And then you're just gonna have it go, right? And just like VO2, we're gonna wait. And so while we're waiting for mid journey, let's take a look at what VO2 did for us. So actually pretty good. Um, this is better than you sometimes get with VO2 since it's an older model, but that's actually pretty impressive. And you need to remember when it comes time to actually put it inside the video, we're gonna be speeding it up significantly. So any like weird errors aren't too much of a problem. And again, same thing with VO3, we're gonna upscale this to 1080p and download it that way. So hopping back into mid journey here at the top, we see the two videos it created for us. It always gives you at least two, you can opt for one, but it's nice to have two to kind of have a side by side comparison. Now, to be totally honest, I kind of like the VO3 one better, but if mid journey had one that you liked, all you have to do is click on the video, come up here to the top right where it says um, download video for social media, and that's how you get it. So once your video finishes downloading, you're gonna go back into CapCut, bring it in and insert it in between the two clips that we were working with before. Remember we had the clip of us as a person, and then we had the actual talking clip of the robot. And so in between, we now have that transition video. Now, what you wanna do is we wanna speed this transition up because nobody wants to sit here as this animation finishes. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this and we'll go to speed on the top right. And we're just going to turn the speed up like crazy, right? Like three times, four times. Realistically, you want this video, this transition video to be like one second. And then from there, it's just a matter of playing with it until I get sort of the speed I like. So something like this seems pretty good. And if I just throw some, you know, music behind this or some sound effects, I think this would be all right. And so to find sound effects, all we're going to do is we're come up to the top and go to audio. And then you can kind of just search for sound effects that you think might make sense. So I'm just going to look for like steam or whatever. You could even go outside and just find any sort of audio clips from online and bring it into CapCut and fill it in as well. So we have this kind of steam audio right here, and I'm just gonna put it directly below this transition clip. And just like how we up the speed on the transition, I can also up the speed on the audio as well. So same thing, click on the audio clip, go to speed, you know, kind of speed it up and then have it match what's going on in that video, right? And so now let's kind of test it out. Just like this. And I'm going to teach you how to do it completely for free. 
So at the beginning, the robot almost like stutters, so I cut that out. And I also wanted to add something else to the sound because I think steam just wasn't enough. So I'm also gonna drag down some sort of just like metal grating sound and see how that works. Just like this. And I'm going to teach you how to do it completely for free. So I think that's pretty good. We can continue adjust it as we want, but what you just saw from beginning to end was how we create these sort of transition videos using VO3, VO2, Nano Banana, and free editing software like CapCut. And so if you want to continue down the path creating more cuts and images like this, you see how simple it is. Take the original image, go to Nano Banana, have it edit the image, take that image to VO3, and have it animate the clip for you. That simple. So for this last part of the video, as promised, I'm going to show you how to get access to VO3 for free. And so to do that, it's pretty easy. We're just going to go to the Google AI Pro signup page and go to get started. You get a whole month for free. You can cancel before the month ends, not get charged anything. And if you have a student email, right, you're a college student, you can get Pro completely free for an entire year. Now you do have to provide a credit card once you hit get started, but again, you can cancel immediately and you're never charged. So you're just going to give them your email. Once you sign in, we'll do get Google AI Pro. And then you're just gonna add some sort of payment method. Now to cancel it, just go to the Google Play subscription page, just Google, Google Play subscription page, go to manage, go to cancel sub, cancel the subscription. Now you still have your month of VO3 for free. So there you have it. That's how you create these viral AI videos using the best AI image generators out there without spending a dime. These sorts of videos are a ton of fun to make. And while we were more on kind of the creative side today, I hope you can see very easily what sort of marketing and more commercial applications this sort of stuff can have. So I'd love to see the kind of things you create. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments. And as always, I'll see you around.